found a lovely little um, demo, uh, and it's an official demo as well. Um, there seems to be quite a decent amount of them now, which is very welcome. Um, basically, GUI in 3D port um, viewport demo. So this is um, a 3D surface. It's got a 2D uh, uh, graphical user interface uh, rendered onto it, and it's interactive as well, so you can click the button uh, move the slider. Um, I thought, oh, I want that. Uh, unfortunately, um, if you're in first person mode, i.e. the mouse is captured, that means that um, the Area 3D no longer gets the um, uh, mouse events uh, it relies on. So what I've had to do is just inject uh, some uh, new fake um, events into the existing code, which I have actually lightly modified to get rid of a few code paths I'm not using, uh, for example, billboard, and uh, also um, I don't need to um, do um, mouse dragging because um, I'm not interested in sliders. I might add that later, I don't know, but I don't see a need for them uh, in my particular case. Um, so yeah, let's see what we've got actually uh, running. Uh, no, on this one. Uh, let's just run it first, so we can move around. We've got the usual sort of uh, cursor effect in the middle of the screen. Click, 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 and the doors open. We can go inside. Doors close. Open. And there we go. So, how do we achieve that when uh, we haven't got any mouse events uh, on uh, this um, area 3D? Um, we rely on the player's uh, raycasting for that. Oh, and incidentally, an area 3D is very handy to get you upstairs. Um, if uh, any of you need to know how to do that, just let me know. Um, so we need to look at the code for the player. Um, it's possibly a little tightly coupled to the um, uh, GUI 3D type, as it were. Um, I want to investigate a better way of recognizing that T, i.e. the collider, um, is a number panel. Um, currently, I'm just sticking it in a group uh, GUI 3D, uh, but it works. Uh, but it would be nice if it could just say, oh, right, T is a class num panel or something like that. Uh, uh, the complication is that the 3D area can't actually be um, the. Um, yeah, that's a different 3D area. <laughs> The 3D area, this one here, for the number panel, can't actually be the root. It, for some reason, it doesn't work. Can't get me head around just what's going on there. Uh, it seems to affect the uh, event processing. Um, so anyway, player, player, player. Let's go for there. So uh, at this part in the, we've we've cast casted our ray. Casted. Great. Um, we found out that it is indeed actually uh, a number panel. Create a fake event, an empty event. Um, get some information from the um, the raycast. Actually, get a reference to our num number panel, the root uh, object of the number panel from. Uh, the area 3D by using get owner. Um, then call this supposedly a private function. Um, is the mouse input the main mouse input, uh, which basically does the converting of the um, the <coughs> 3D position in uh, to uh, a 2D position on the surface. 
um, and copes with a few other bits. I've very lightly uh, modified this it um, because it was relying on of course I've taken them out the signals there was the uh, three mouse signals basically it was keeping track of whether or not the um, mouse was inside the uh, area of the mesh um, currently uh, because we only get here by means of uh, the call in the player um, we know it's inside so uh, it's, it's irrelevant two very similar looking um, uh, things we need a pressed and a released on the clicked uh, event um, so uh, as well as a mouse motion event um, which we're uh, sending in here um, we also need to push in um, a, a button event um, uh, both uh, for when it's um, just been pressed and then also when it's just been released um, that goes to a new function in, uh, in the number panel and all that's doing is just push input um, Yeah, and that's really all there is to it. A um, bit of tidying up and a little bit of uh, fertling. Um, uh, there's a few other bits, like for instance, I'm not uh, over convinced that there isn't a better way of doing that. Um, uh, there's a um, exported for the code, so when you filled up the, um, uh, the you know, press the uh, digits to enter in the code and it matches that code, uh, which is, you can see on the uh, inspector if we go into world and look at the instance. Uh, where are we? Double door, no, um, number panel for the double door. Um, so it, um, uh, you tell it which doors you can have multiple doors or triggerable things uh, that's something I need to look into because I, I want a, uh, a better way of uh, in effect emulating uh, instances and just pop your code in there and uh, that's all there is to it um, any questions please do um, let me know okay <laughs>